Hello world, virtual YouTuber Isabella Electrum here. So today, class, I'm going to be seeding a very simple idea. Well, simple idea, but it's a little complex in practice, but nothing too challenging, I assure you. In this video, I'm just going to be explaining the concept, and in a later video, I will be actually putting it into practice and showing you how it works. So we're going to be talking about pass by value and pass by reference. Pass by value is something like an integer where it's like x equals 2. We could then set y equals x and then both values are equal to 2 and then even so basically we can say have a for loop deal with the, say, an integer z. Outside of the loop, we have z equals 3. And then we can have a method that calls, we can call a method that is a loop. That would, like, say, index up a bunch or something like that. And so we give it, we tell it z. And then it'll say something like i is equal to z. And then it'll count all the way back down. We can even override i a bunch. But z will still be what it was originally without being changed. Despite the fact that we overridden it a bunch of times inside of our loop. That's pass by value. So in short, the non-complicated bits is pass by value does not change the original. Pass by reference, the original can be changed. Pass by reference is something that is seen in arrays. If you pass the array into another method and then the method changes something in the array, not only has it changed locally in that method, but because it's not actually handing them a copy of the array, it's handing them a reference to the original array. So when you change things in an array, in an a additional method, you're actually changing them in the original spot as well. So you got to keep that in mind and make sure that you back up your data in mid steps if you're doing any weird sorting and stuff in arrays. And it's important to keep in mind what data types are passed by reference and what are passed by value. I recognize that this is kind of a confusing topic, so I wanted to give a brief introduction to the concepts so you have at least a moderate understanding of the terminology before I, in a later video, go in and actually show it in practice. So you know, basically, so the video showing it off can help clarify any questions you have. So you can learn the concept here and then make it make perfect sense then because trying to do them both at the same time for this concept, much like recursion, could be a little complicated. Anyway, I won't try and linger on for another like six minutes to get to 10 minutes. So mwah, see you all next time. If you want, you can check out my Twitter linked in the description. And if you're feeling extra super amazing, you can check out my Patreon. I said check out to my Patreon, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it's completely optional. And I love you all regardless. Mwah. Bye.